My name is Josh Davis. I'm the top code manager for Paul Reed Smith Guitars. I've been working here for 15 years now. Today we're going to get into the fret leveling process, so let's get to it. The fret level process is important to the guitar because it affects the playability and the comfort level of the guitar when playing it. So right here Bobby's removing the tape to be able to start the leveling process. So right here Bobby puts double sided tape on the guitars to protect it so we don't get any cunny grooves in it with sandpaper. Bobby takes a straight edge, puts it on the fingerboard and makes sure it's completely straight for the top sticking process. And he's looking through to see if there's any light passing through the ruler to make sure that the board is completely flat. Once the board's flat, Bobby takes 220 grit sandpaper and sticks the side of the frets to knock the hard ed edges off of it. Paul Smith created those sticks. They're acrylic sticks and they're designed to not bend so they stay straight. But we take the sticks back to the flat stone every week to make sure that they stay flat. Right here, Bobby's taking Sharpie and putting it on top of the frets. So when we stick the top of the frets, you'll see if there's any high frets or low frets. So here's Bobby doing short strokes across the top of the fretboard to knock the frets down. He's using 320 grit sandpaper to even everything out. Then he takes a sanding block, goes over top of the frets to help take off those harsh 320 scratches to smooth the frets out. When he's done that, you go back over it with a razor blade and you clean off any finish residue that's on the fretboard. That way you get that nice clean rosewood. You have to take the razor blade and put it underneath the frets so you can pick any finish off that might be underneath of it. So then Bobby goes back over everything he just scraped and does long smooth strokes to be able to get all those short scratches out of the fretboard. Basically it's more aesthetic. It's, it's more part of the aesthetic so you don't see the harsh razor blade scratches in the rosewood is why we go back over it with long smooth strokes on the fingerboard. So then Bobby goes back over the side of the frets and the top of the frets with a super fine pad to knock off any more hard scratches and to help smooth the fretboard out for playability. Bobby has overhead lights and then we also have dock lights that way you can see any imperfections that might be in the fretboard itself. So after the fret level process is complete, you go back over the frets with 600 grit and then 1000 grit with a flat marble block to top the frets. If the frets aren't completely flat with the topping block, then you'll get buzz when you're trying to play notes and tones. So after the fret level process, the guitar goes through our wet sand process. 